This video is going to introduce you to carotid sinus massage or bagel massage or the bagel maneuver. Um, it has a lot of different names, but its main goal is to diagnose and or treat supraventricular tachycardias or AFib or other hypersympathetic excitatory patterns in the heart. This is something that you can do at home. This is something that anybody really can do. It's safe, um, and I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way and the effective way. So just a little bit of anatomy here before we get started. The vagus nerve, also known as cranial nerve 10, runs up the neck and into the cranium just lateral to our carotid artery. And the carotid artery is the big one. This is the one that supplies the whole head with blood. Um, this is why it's called the carotid sinus massage is because the area that you're going to be massaging or palpating is just lateral to that carotid sinus, the carotid artery. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is take your hand and feel on the side of your neck until you feel your carotid pulse. And you're really going to try and uh, localize that as best as possible. So take your time, make sure you're in the right part here, and you want to move just lateral to that, and you'll feel some tissue, and you'll, that's what you're going to be feeling for, and you're going to work your way up and down that tissue, just lateral to your pulse, and if you ever lose it, just find it again. Massaging and palpating, pushing in. You're going to want to do three or five seconds and then move your way up and down the side of your neck there. You can do it on both sides. Um, I would recommend doing it on one side and then the other. And the reason why is because if you are too medial and you're on that carotid artery and you occlude or mean you push down too hard on that carotid artery, you're effectively turning off the circulation or the blood supply to your head. And if you do both sides at once, it can be really bad. That can cause you to have what's called a syncope or faint and you'll lose consciousness. I'm going to have a, my patient step in here. So let's say that my patient here is experiencing atrial fibrillation, or AFib as it's commonly called, or he has a supraventricular tachycardia, a SVT rhythm. What I'm going to do to this patient is this patient is typically going to be in a hospital bed, probably coming in and out of consciousness, maybe even out of consciousness totally. I'm going to feel on the side of his neck for that carotid pulse. And I got it right here on this middle finger. I'm going to move just lateral to that, and I'm going to palpate on one side, up and down. The idea here is that your vagus nerve conveys all of the parasympathetic nerves, a lot of parasympathetic nerve activity, down to the pericardium, to the heart. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to instill a hyperparasympathetic state, which would then cause your heart to relax, to chill out, and not be in fibrillation or in tachycardia. 